The money's all been collected. Now you jump. I do use that term loosely. We'll wait here. You're on our time now. No questions. On this week's episode of VCW Livewire, we will see homeless Harry Zana, and he'll be in action. Then we'll see the limited edition Firestorm, and he'll be taking on Dollar D Jr. And then in our main event, we'll find out who is the winner of the Dan Ram Lotto for his VCW Livewire title. This and much, much more on this episode of VCW Livewire. Firestorm going one-on-one -on -one with Hunter Coleman. And that match ought to be fast-paced, I can guarantee you. And I don't know, I think Hunter Coleman's going to knock off the Firestorm. And in your main event of the evening, for the VCW Live Wire title, it will be Danny Ramirez defending against the winner of the Dan Ram Lotto, Chris. Just like I mentioned, it doesn't matter who Dan Ram faces because he's got the Live Wire title Wrapped and loaded and ain't going anywhere tonight. But we'll find out, because that's our main event right here on VCW Livewire. Fans, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our opening contest. Don't go anywhere.
got me on the song. I hate it. Says, love me or hate me, you people will never forget me. I'm back where I belong. Yeah, I never felt so yeah. strong. Hey. I'm back, I'm man. feeling like there's nothing I can't try. And if you with me, put yeah. your hands high. Put your hands high. If you with me, put your hands high. Yeah. Your dreams are filled. Yeah. You're rocking with the best. Yeah. I mean, I'm so Love me or hate me, you people. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. First, from the line between light and dark, weighing in at 198 pounds, Shadow. Chris Charisma, here he is, the debuting Shadow. That's right, fans. Welcome back to VCW Livewire. And here comes Shadow. And you see him, uh, I don't know why they call him the Shadow because he's about as pale white as uh, the pants he's wearing, the stripper pants he's wearing. Maybe it's because he's got eyeshadow on. I don't know. Maybe underneath his eye. Either way, we are set and ready to go for our opening contest. And what an opening contest we have here tonight. Homeless Harry versus Shadow. And his opponent. There you see the referee checking Shadow. Well, you know, this is his first time here at VCW. Oh, you know what that music means, Chris? That's right. From a dumpster near you, oh. weighing at 263 pounds, Homeless Harry Zanick. Here he is, Homeless Harry, continuing his search. I can't believe I got to interview this guy. Look at this, he's got fans, get, he's got a cup, he's begging for money right before a, a match here at VCW. Chris, he's doing pretty well with the money, I've heard he's almost enough to buy a car. Well, you know, he might have to pay me if he wants to be a guest on an exciting opinion. I'll take whatever's in that cup. But, oh my god, look, he's got more people giving him money, unbelievable. Chris, you got some money on you, why don't you give him a couple bucks, help out a guy. No, bro, I'm the cameraman, I heard. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, my God, he tried to give the cameraman a pit stop. Oh. That's, oh. Oh, my God, that's absolutely disgusting. Homeless Harry. He loves him. the smell of his body odor, which is, I think is absolutely gross. The referee doesn't even want to check him. I don't blame him. He's good? He's good. Okay. All right, let's go. Here we go. We're starting out with Homeless Harry versus Shadow. Homeless Harry. Homeless Harry. Wow. There's one hostile member in the crowd tonight. As always. As always. Test of mercy? I thought it was called, so that's funny, because I always thought it was called the test of strength, but I'm, nonetheless, I want to talk, what I, what I want to know is, is what's going on with Homeless Harry's pig? I don't know, I think he lost the, it. One of the Walker members probably stole his piggy bank. Well, I have, I have a, a few ideas of who I think it might be, but uh, we're going to find out, or I'm going to reveal those ideas maybe a little later on in the exciting opinion right after this matchup. We really need to get locked up here because, uh, I mean, this is not a popularity contest, and Homeless Harry should know this. Homeless Harry is very popular here, though. Yes, he is. I heard he's been staying in the dumpster behind the 7-Eleven the last couple of months because of the beautiful weather. He's claiming that shadow stinks. That's got to be the, the smell of his own body odor. Get those signs on the Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Test of strength between Homeless Harry and Shadow. Oh, big knee to the stomach by Shadow. And another. One more for good luck. Big clubbing forearm to the chest. And he's got a five count to break it. Two. Irish whip, he reverses him into the turnbuckle. Here comes Homeless Harry. Oh, 
Oh, Shadow gets out of the way. And a big jaw jacker. Big this clothesline sends Homeless Harry hard to the canvas. Momentum, I think, took Homeless Harry down because it was very much a glancing blow. Only a two count. Homeless Harry with some big shots. And you know, we do know, Adam, that we should, we haven't talked about this yet, but Homeless Harry is the number one contender. Oh, there's the piss off! Homeless Harry is the number one contender for the VCW. Oh, drive. Sorry to cut you off. That's it. Homeless Harry wins one. Homeless Harry. Homeless Harry, Homeless Harry is the number one contender for the VCW Heavyweight Championship. But first, let's take a quick look. Adam Evers of the replay of this match. And here it is. First, uh, a, a glancing clothesline takes Homeless Harry off his feet. But then here it is. The big pit stop and then the dumpster dive, as you called it. There it is. A one, two, three. Adam, take it from here because I'm going over to an exciting opinion. No money, Harry. Come on. See that piggy? Um, check the ring announcer. Ring it out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost ready here. We're gonna go to Chris Charisma's excite, exciting corner. Homeless Harry, one of the most popular people here in BCW, and we're getting ready to hear an interview by Chris Charisma. Whoa, 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 cut the music, cut the music, Homeless Harry, Homeless Harry, get your Homeless Harry ass over here, cause you're my guest right now on an exciting opinion. Stop chumming it up with these morons for a lack of, oh my god, that's horrible. Put that up, oh my, oh. I'm not touching you, man. Homeless Harry, this is your shining moment right here on an exciting opinion because I'm going to ask you a series of questions, Homeless Harry, and hopefully you have the answer to them. First of all, how much money do you have in that cup? Well, I haven't gone to school in a couple of years, so it's about halfway, can't you tell? Uh, yeah, I would say it's half empty. <laughs> Pass me, ask me, who knows? Anyway, Homeless Harry, the, my next question, what happened to your little piggy bank? I don't know, I've been looking there for, for that thing for months. Where is it? Have you seen it? Who's seen it here? Come on, he did, Chris, a fan said that you took. First of all, it's Mr. Excitement, get that straight. Secondly, I wouldn't be bothered to steal your piggy bank. Probably has no money anyway, but I, I, have, some, I, I have some ideas who I think might have stolen your piggy bank. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you who I think stole your piggy bank? You want my exciting opinion of who I think stole your piggy bank? I want your exciting opinion. You're good. All right, all right, listen, listen. Don't get that close to me. What? Because you stink, that's why. I took a shower last week in the Charles. I did my laundry there, too. <laughs> That would definitely explain the smell. At least we have one smart person in the crowd. Anyway, all these fans are sitting on their hands anyway. But nonetheless, aren't you guys my friends? Are you my friends? The, uh, first of all, I wouldn't want any of these fans as my friends. Secondly, I'm not your friend. Homeless Harry, I think that it was the Boston bad boy, Jason Rumble. He is pretending to be your friend. But we all know, Homeless Harry, that a couple of weeks ago, right here on Livewire Television, you became the number one contender for the VCW Heavyweight 
championship and what better way to throw you off your course of capturing that title than with a distraction of stealing your piggy bank. My friend Jason Rumble, we've been friends for years. Why would he do that? I don't understand. And a distraction to steal my piggy? Nah, Jason would never do that. He's a great guy. You think so? Yeah, we, we've known each other um, a long time, I think. Yeah. Well, can I tell you, he is the VCW Heavyweight Champion, and he knows you're coming after his title. And why wouldn't it put him? Why wouldn't he put it past him to steal that piggy bank from you? Because you're trying to steal his championship away from him. If that's a friend, you're a friend to Jason Rumble because you're going for his championship title. I don't call that a friend. I call that homeless Harry. Well, um, yeah. Uh, he's my friend. We do that stuff. We can fight, have a friendly match, but I'm not the number one contender. I'm the cash and carry champion uh, winner. Which makes you the number one contender because you can cash and carry that contract into a VCW heavyweight championship. You do know that that's what that cash and carry means, don't you, homeless Harry? No, I thought it was to get piggyback. You're kidding, right? No. Isn't that for piggies for the title? Uh, but I can't fight Jason. He put a dollar in my piggy, and I can never challenge him for the title. That was the handshake we did. Homeless Harry, let me smarten you up right now. I'm smart. No, you're not smart. That's the problem. This is Victory Championship Wrestling. This is where all the top superstars in New England come to perform and come to wrestle. And they wrestle to become the VCW Heavyweight Championship. And if you're not in it for that, then you shouldn't be in it. So right now, Homeless Harry, I'm going to do to you what your mother should have did to you a long time ago. I'm throwing you out of the house. Get out of my exciting opinion. Head to the back because if you're too stupid to realize that you have the opportunity to become a VCW heavyweight champion, then I don't want you as my guest anymore on an exciting opinion. So get out of here. No, you can't get any chance. Get out of here before I steal that on you. I'll become champion. You'll see. You'll see. Champion. Wow. Strong words. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another exciting opinion from Mr. Excitement, the greatness that is Chris Charisma. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the exciting opinion. And we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back with more Victory Championship Wrestling. That's right, VCW fans. This is the pride of Somerville, Danny Ramirez, and also your VCW Livewire champion. Don't change that dial because you are watching VCW Livewire. I hate it. Hey, love me or hate me, you people will never forget me. Where I belong, yeah. I never felt so yeah. strong, man. I'm back, I'm feeling man. like there's nothing I can't try. And if you with me, put yeah. your hands, put your hands. If you with me, put your hands. You, the dreams are filled. You're rocking with the best. Yeah. I'll be on the song. Love me or hate me, you keep.
You're looking a little nervous. I am a little nervous. Don't worry. Listen, I know last time almost didn't work out. Call D's a little bit better than we yeah, expected. That's all right. You know that flambe running around with the gold mask? Yeah, yeah. Really? He's going to be your opponent tonight. <laughs> Are we brilliant? Are you're, we brilliant or you're, what? You're brilliant, Ryan. You're brilliant. All right. Hey, let's go get a drink, huh? Because right. you could be hammered for this schmuck. <laughs> you know that's right. Oh, you know, almost makes me sad just realizing just how stupid those guys are. Jeez, this is going to be like taking candy from two retarded children. Oh. Two, Dollar D, we both have a mask. That's being honor, honor and la lucha. If we want to show to BCW people how Lucha Lucha is wearing a mask because Lucha significa honor, honor, mostrando la máscara. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Victory Championship Wrestling. Another edition of Live Wire. We got another match coming up here. Let's send it up to our ring announcer, Sean Feeney. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. First, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing at 221 pounds, he is the limited edition Firestorm. Here he comes, Chris Charisma, limited edition Firestorm, making his return to Victory Championship Wrestling. Well, uh, limited edition Firestorm, I used to know him as the ultimate Firestorm. When he was the ultimate firestorm, he was an ultimate flop. In my opinion, and that my opinion is the only one that matters at this point. Oh, one man's opinion. And here he comes, the limited edition firestorm making his VCW return. And from what I understand, Chris, he just finished a two-week tour in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Well, what he did in San Juan, Puerto Rico, I have no idea. It looks like he did a lot of eating and a lot of laying on the beach because he's definitely gained some size. Have you tried that food, Chris? It's amazing. Um, I wouldn't be caught dead eating food from his hometown. And wow. his moment. What? Shane McMahon's here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to know what mark is coming out to Shane McMahon. Here we go. We're going to find out. It's, of course, Mr. Hunter Coleman. D. Wow. Dollar D. Dollar D. I apologize. Dollar D. Returning. I, yeah. Dollar D in the house here tonight. Uh, Dollar D. He, he apparently didn't like the comment that I just made that I thought he was a mark for coming up to this music, but whatever. I don't really care. Dollar D looks to have dropped about 10 pounds and put on in muscle. Uh, where do you see muscle? What, what Dollar D are you looking at? The one in the green, Chris. The one in the green. Where do you see the muscle? I don't see the muscle. Well, you know what I do see? I do see a bright white spot and a green shadow. Because that's what his chest looks like in that in that outfit. But look at him compared to the ultimate, excuse me, the limited edition Firestorm. Chris, can you translate what Firestorm is saying right now? Um, yes, I can. Will you? No. Is it against FCC rules? No, I just don't want to because I don't like you. Here's a, another test of strength that's two in a row here this week on VCW Tip Live Wire Television. Oh! Gots, gets him in the head. Oh, beautiful head scissors takeover right there. All the way to the Very floor. unique. Oh. Come on, guys, on. Get the ring. Very unique. And I think the referee just called him a Paisan. No, they said it's Firestorm, get in the ring. Hey. And Firestorm taking a quick breather. Now it's it. Now, you know what I did notice? Well, actually, I'm not even going to say There's a collar and double tie-up. Adam, I want to know who your pick is to win this match between the limited edition Firestorm and Dollar D. Honestly, Chris Charisma, it's a tough match to call. Dollar D has the speed 
but Firestorm has the veteran advantage. Uh, that's well, that's true. But Dollar D's been around for a while too. Do you want to know who my predict? Well, who I'm gonna predict? Who I think is gonna win this match? Who do you predict? I predict that the winner of this match is gonna be the guy wearing the mask. Fair enough. The guy wearing the mask is gonna win this match. Absolutely. Oh. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I cha I'm going to change my prediction. The guy wearing the bright colors, he's going to win the match. So you're saying Dollar D will be winning the match because well, Black is not a... No, but Red is, dummy. He's got him on the ropes now. Referee's got to break that up. He's got to get a up there. Referee's got to... I think the referee's voice just cracked. Well, this referee hasn't hit puberty yet, but he's also hasn't had much experience. If he did, he would have known he's got to get right in there and get right on top of them. Adam Alvarez to push you off the foot. I used to be... Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. I used to be the best referee here in New England. I was the number one guy. I was the man. I still am the man. If you were Joe Muller, if I ever... Well, no, I'm better than Joe Muller. If I ever thought, decided to don the stripes and get back in there, I'll teach you all a clinic. Out of the corner. That, that definitely hurts the, the neck and the vertebrae Big and to the knee. Firestorm Smart going right back to the to the point of attack here on the knee. Working that knee right now. Really trying wrenching. To, he's really trying to wrench out that knee. And uh, Adam, uh, I want to know who is going to be the DRAM Lucky Lotto winner this week here on BCW. Oh, there's a kick to go against. Neck breaker, sorry, cut you off, Chris. Again, to go against D Ram for the for the live wire champion. There's a float over, not even a one count. Chris Charisma, I couldn't tell you who's gonna be the winner of that match. Uh, so I want to know who's gonna be the winner of the lotto. I know who the winner of the match is gonna be. It's gonna be Danny Ramirez, Adam. I want to know who the winner of the lotto is gonna be. I don't know, my friend. All I know is that one of those lucky wrestlers Look in the back. Look at that firestorm yeah. putting the pressure on that knee. How does it feel to get cut off? Look at the pressure on that knee. He's really driving his foot into, this, into the ACL and, and, and MCL. That's the uh, side and back of the knee, Adam, in case you didn't know what I was talking about. I actually was an anatomy major, Chris. Thank you. All right. What is it? Irish whip. Oh! Took too long. Did you see how Dollar D baited him in? But I think one misstep, and I think he might have popped that knee right back out of place again. He's got him hooked up. Beautiful Good snap, man. Absolutely. And the kill! Oh, Chris, that echoed throughout the arena. I did. I saw that coming a mile away. The ropes. The tires a little snap neck breaker. There's a good lateral pressure. One, Adam. two. Two count for Dollar D. Highly competitive contest here. It is a very highly competitive contest. And uh, I don't know. The limited firestorm showing up maybe a little bit of ring rust. No, a deep maybe a little rope. A little bit of ring position. Oh, oh, he missed the leg drop. It's a high risk maneuver and it did not pay off. Nobody home for Dollar D. He's uh, enough and nothing. I don't think that was very intelligent either. You already got a bug knee. Why would you go to the middle turn? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Maybe he was feeling froggy. He is dressed in green after all. Uh, he's trying to, to, to put some sort of maneuver on him. But, but Spanish crap. And look at this. He, the foot's on the rope. Oh, but he, no, he pulled him back. He did pull him back. Smart move by Firestorm. Maybe he doesn't have any ring rust. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. Dollar D fighting doing. with all of his heart right here, trying to withstand the pain of the Firestorm clutch. Adam Evans, this is called a single leg Boston Crab, or a modified version of it. He's got the ropes. Did you see how smart that was, Adam? By the Firestorm. The Firestorm had Dollar D all the way at the other side of the ring. He made Dollar D crawl all the way across the ring before he got to those ropes. Vicious, vicious Irish rope. Oh, oh big cut off to the chest. Right to the solar plexus. Uh, that was like a drop down snap there. Yes, it was. The momentum took over. Took, oh, Dollar D's going up again. He's already Dollar D's. Months, and it has not paid off. And he does Dollar have D's a, going top rope. He does have a bum knee. I went. And here we go. Oh, he missed the headbutt. Nobody home again. How many times is this guy going to go to the well and find out? Find out he comes up empty. Well, up on the shoulders. Here it comes. The fireball. That's got it. That's firebomb. I've never seen anyone kick out the firebomb. Me. One, two, three. And now he's going to add some insult to it. Wow. Here's your winner, Firestorm. Fire 
Firestorm beating up Darwin D after the match. And I will say it's very unsportsmanlike. Well, the Firestorm has never been very sportsmanlike, if you could say. Firestorm victorious here on BCW Live Wire, Chris. That's right, fans. Coming up after the commercial break, we will we will see Adam B. Right, you feel like to come see off. the Dan Ram Water Challenge for the BCW Live Wire title. Who is Dan D Ram going to go against? We'll find out. One right more time. That's right. right after this. We'll be right back here on BCW Live Wire. What is this unmade bed doing here? I'm an official member of the Victory Championship Wrestling Committee and required to be here. Well, that's very official sounding. Fine, just don't stand too close to us. You smell like crap. All right, everyone, welcome to the second Danny Ramirez Live Wire Title Lotto. I, of course, am Ryan Matthews. This is the BCW Live Wire Champion, Danny Ramirez. And let's see who we have here. We got El Paco de Schmucko. Big Douche Matooch and Scott Osborne off the gas. And what the hell are you doing here? What? I just, there was no way I was missing this. I, you know what? It entertains me seeing you out there. I just, I just want to see who you're going to defend the ball against. Yeah, you know, no, you can't be here. Your name's not in here. Yeah. What? That, can I or can I not be here? He paid his money. What do you mean he paid his money? He didn't pay it. He didn't pay it in DC. He paid his money. He's in the lottery. It's all right, hey, hey, it's all right, remember? It's okay, it's all right. Whatever. All right, so, the man. Hey, El Paco, I'm liking your, I'm liking, uh, liking your style. The man that will take on Danny Ramirez tonight is... <clears throat> the man that will wrestle Danny Ramirez tonight for the VCW Live Wire title is... Having a little trouble? What's the matter? What's going on? Um. God oh, damn it! No! Ah! Just, just, just give me a second. Just, oh, just. What happened? Damn it! I don't get what they're so mad about. Huh? What do you think the odds would be, huh? Huh? Sorry, guys. Looks like it's gonna be me going for the belt tonight. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be.
this too. Love me or hate me, you people will never forget me. I'm back where I belong. Yeah, I never felt so strong. Yeah. I'm back, I'm feeling like there's nothing I can't try. And if you with me, put your hands. Put your hands. If you with me, put your hands. The dreams are filled. You're rocking with the best. I'll be on the Love me or hate me, you people. Oh, well, Bucket. How the hell did he get into the lotto? What the hell are we gonna do? All right, okay. Let's regroup. Let's think about this. We're smart guys. Smart guys regroup. How the hell did he get in the bucket? I, I waited for that idiot in the gold okay. mask. That's all right. We're gonna because we're gonna be calm about this. We're gonna be mad about this. Yeah. All right. You get in your gear. I'm gonna get in my gear. I don't even care if I'm booked on this show. With a beat up reaper. We're gonna call the man. We're gonna call the man that's been pulling the strings. And we're gonna figure this out. And we're gonna beat up Reaper and we're gonna put him on the shelf. And we're not gonna get upset! Steve's not gonna get me upset this time! God damn it! Alright, let's go! Three! It's funny how things work out, ain't it, Danny boy? You do this weekly lottery thing you've been starting up, so everybody can try to take that belt from you. Well, I bet you never thought in a million years that I'd be the one that won the lottery. Funny. You know, I think of when you cost me the heavyweight title, I think about all that rage and anger and just wanting to get my hands around that throat of yours. But you know what? <laughs> Tonight, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna hold you by the throat, and I'm gonna feel the last breath as it exits your windpipe. Because tonight, that live wire title is coming home with me. See you later, boy. Fans, welcome back to Victory Championship Wrestling Live Wire. And in case you missed it, Adam Edwards, we have just found out who the lucky lotto winner is. Chris Charisma, Danny Ramirez is going to defend that VCW Livewire title right now against former VCW Heavyweight Champion, the Reaper, Steve Beck. And fans, let's send it up to Sean P, because Adam, it's VCW Livewire Main Event. Time. Let's send it up to Sean Feeney. The following contest is your VCW Livewire main event, and it is for the VCW Livewire Championship. Making his way to the ring, first, he is the winner of this week's Dan Ram Lottery from South Boston, Massachusetts, weighing at 176 pounds, the Reaper, Steve Beck. Adam, I am excited. Not just because I'm Mr. Excitement, but I am excited to see what the Reaper, Steve Beck, is gonna do to capture the VCW Live Wire Championship. As you know, the Reaper, Steve Beck, was former VCW Heavyweight Champion, and he had the opportunity to regain that gold recently at our March Madness Live Pay-Per-View event. Inside a prison pen steel cage matchup when the Reaper, Steve Beck, had dropped the ball and he did not capture that championship. He had the belt in hand, he could have used it against Rumble, and he didn't do that. Chris, hold on, let's send it up to Sean Feeney for our next introduction. From Somerville, Massachusetts, weighing at 211 pounds, he is the current VCW Live Wire champion, Danny. And the crowd definitely doesn't like Danny Ramirez. And of course, Danny Ramirez is accompanied at ringside by the superstar, Ryan Matthews. And of course, as I always mention, every time Ryan Matthews is around, there's, all, there's 
there's only a few people who are entitled to call themselves a true superstar of professional wrestling, and Ryan Matthews and the D-Ram are those two people. Chris Charisma, I can't doubt Danny Ramirez's talents in that ring, but honestly, it seems like he's held on to that belt by hook, by crook, or because of the man on that turnbuckle, the superstar Ryan Matthews. You know, make all the excuses you want, Adam Edwards. The fact of the matter is, we are starting this matchup with Danny Ramirez as the VCW Live Wire Champion. this chant, and there you see this is for the VCW Live Wire Champion. Mullet, mullet, don't spin like that again. Don't spin. Here we go, Chris Charisma. It's main event time here on VCW Live Wire. The bell has rung and it is underway. Look at that. Already, the superstar Ryan Matthews pays dividends by distracting the Reaper Steve back for a second. Oh, her elbow just shoves him off. But look at the power and the strength by D-Ram. Slap! Adam Everest, that's a blatant disrespect to the Live Wire champion! Oh, what a take! Way slow on takedown, spinning around, and oh! Uh, he's in the corner, Reaper Steve Beck. The, the Reaper Steve Beck needs to show a little bit of uh, sportsmanship here. After all, this is for the VCW Live Wire Championship. The, the champ's in the corner, he's calling for a timeout! Chris, there's no timeouts in wrestling. There, oh, there isn't, huh? No. Let, let me ask. Hey, let me ask you this. First of all, did you hear the superstar Ryan Matthews says there's three timeouts. He already took one. Oh my! You were big on If there's no timeouts in, in wrestling, Adam, then what's a ten count? Two guys on the outside of the ring with the left count to ten. Or one catching his breath, taking a time out. And there's a, a beautiful oh, arm ringer. Yes. I was going to say a top arm. Oh! Little, little ad, can I tell you, Adam, what that does to your shoulder blade, it actually takes, it feels like your arm is caught between it with a vice grip, and that vice grip is just tearing away at your arm. It pulls at your shoulder, and when he jerks it down like that, Adam, it not only jerks on the shoulder, it hyperextends the elbow. There could be some serious long-term damage done yeah, by this man who bounces into a headlock. Very nice chain wrestling right there by Danny Ramirez. So just like Ryan Matthews said, that's the champ right there. He is the live wire champion for a reason. Danny Ramirez has that headlock on tight on the Reaper Steve Beck. That's right. Big elbow to the stomach. And another. It shoots Danny Ramirez off. Oh, what a shoulder tackle. And you know what? Danny Ramirez will hear these Danny chants all he wants. Oh, all these Ramirez is on top. Oh, nice counter. Very nice reversal. Duck the clothesline. Ducks all the way. Oh, right. Matthews just grabbed the leg out from the Reaper Steve Beck. And it goes Reaper Beck all on the top via clothesline. Oh, my God. The Reaper is down on the outside. And the Ryan Matthews, I don't know what's going on here. Live action right here going on in front of us at the commentator's table. Uh oh, into the post. Oh my god, he went ribs first into that post. Ribs first, he tried to jump out of the way because the momentum is going to take him right into the post. There was no avoiding it. He tried to soften the blow by leaping into it, but unfortunately, I think that might have been done more damage than, than not. It might have backfired on the Reaper Steve Beck. He's the down and out. The Reaper Steve Beck is being admitted to the tank out by the referee. Well, you know, if uh, the Reaper for Steve Beck loses by Kano, the fact is, he still loses. Beautiful suplex from the outside in by the Dan Ram. Sounds like Fenway Park in here, only with Manny, Danny in her place of Manny. Uh, it has, Fenway Park 
in Boston has not signed to tag the chance Manny in like two years there, Adam. Get up with the times. You mean Dodger Stadium, or in this case, this year, Double Ray Stadium very soon. Anyway, we're not talking baseball. We're Rock talking the field. DC, DCW, whatever. Live Wire Championship going on right here, right now. There's an open hand that ain't worth one of these. There's a good shot by our cameraman here. We got fantastic camera work going on here. They're taking you right in to the action. action. Double under her. Adam, you keep cutting you me off. You butterfly suplex by you the camera. You keep cutting me off. I might have to slap those glasses off your face. Anytime you want to try, Charisma. We'll see. Anyway, let's keep the action in the ring here. Only a two count. Wow, I don't know if you heard what he just said to Steve Beck. Uh, I think that was directed towards the referee, as a matter of fact. Because he believes that was oh, a what out. punch. Straight right hand. And here in DCW, with a double. Oh my god! Oh my, it's Ryan Matthews with a running Yakuza kick to the side of the head of the Reaper. I, I think Reaper just bumped his head on the post. I don't know what happened. I didn't see anything. Two! Wow, that should have been a three count. That should have been a three count. Close fists are still illegal here in BCW because the W here still stands for wrestling, folks. Irish whip. Beautiful. Modified sunset. Oh, There's a modified sunset clip into a schoolboy. Oh, a big right there. Big elbow right there, Chris. That's right. Cutting down any kind of momentum Steve Beck was going to lead himself into here. But, uh... The D-Ram showing him why he is still the Live Wire champion. Chris, and we forgot to mention that VCW, I'm sorry, beautiful T-Bone suplex right there. VCW makes his return to the middle city of Lowell, Massachusetts. Oh, disrespectful pin count there. May sorry, Adam. 11th. That's right, May 11th at Wait. Club Lafayette. Club Lafayette, 465 Fletcher Street. That's right, right with in uh, downtown Lowell. With former WWE Tough Enough star, Luke Robinson. So go to VCWLiveWire.com. Oh my, I got distracted there because I doubt that one I saw. Big right hand by the superstar Ryan Matthews, but I'll tell you, if the, don't worry about the superstar, I got your back. He's trying to shake me off, but the fact is I saw it, I got to call it. But the fair person who matters didn't see it, and that's the rest. Oh, I oh, 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 what a shot! And another! That was a close fist! Wow, what the shot! Reaper, Steve Beck should be disqualified! Beal into a hip toss by the Reaper, Steve Beck! He ran only through one close fist, Reaper's through three of them! Then the shot to the midsection, that was a close line to the midsection, down he went! I think it was another close fist, but you know what? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Steve Beck wants to throw fists. Steve Ram will throw right back at him. And here we go. Where are they going to finish it. him off? It's a weird chin lock right there. A yeah, great shot there. Great action. You can see the pain. Steve Beck not willing to give up. You can see the pain right there on, on Steve Beck's face. He should just give it up. It's over. Crowd is definitely behind the Reaper. The Reaper's building up momentum here. Big elbow. Another! There is one more! Hitting the ropes! Ducks the clothesline! Ducking the forearm! Big clothesline! Here comes the Reaper Steve Beck firing up! Big body slam! Reaper firing up here in every mass at the VCW Arena! It's called the Bell Time Club, 537 Arena, Ferry Street, and Steve Beck gonna hit his head on that seal of the bell! Chris, it doesn't get any closer than that. And, and the suspense knocked Superstar off his feet there. He almost, he, I think he thought that title was gone. He's calling for it. He's, this could be it. The d has got to, he's got, oh, back and arrow. Here comes the cover. Wait, one, one, two. Whoa. Well, it's a disqualification. By disqualification. Superstar cutter. Steve Beck. He calls that a superstardom, but for Steve uh, Beck, it looks like... Can I tell you something? Steve Beck seeing stars right now. Superstar. Oh, here he is! Hey, Chris Neal! Chris Neal coming out of House of Fire, but the numbers game is adding up. The numbers game is taking its toll here. To oh, the people. Thank you, Matt.
Reaching down it by Hook or by Crook. He got out, but Reaper Steve Beck might have won by disqualification. But as you know, Adam, you can only win the championship by pinball or submission. But the Boston bad boy Jason Rubble, we all know the history between the three men in the ring, the two men on the outside. Things what all this mean? We'll have to find out next week right here on VCW Live Wire Television. Adam Everest, we'll see everybody you, next week. Just doing my job. Unbelievable. might have been the first dude there, but when push came to shove, let's just say I bought the bat that just hit the home run clearly, man. I've always had your back from get-go. Like I said, man, it's just happened that way. That Fair it just enough. looks no, like no, dirty no, deeds done dirt cheap, man. I got you, I got you, but this one thing. I know your history. Yeah, you saved my butt out there tonight. But I can't help but think Maybe it's kind of like the Trojan horse. Just another curveball. You really want to prove to me that I can trust you? I told you. I'll prove it. What do you want from me, bro? I'll tell you what. Be my partner, and we take them on. We take on Brian Matthews, and we take on Ramirez. The two of us against the two of them. You got yourself a deal, dude. Fair enough. You'll see it. Two weeks time, how about it? Right, we give them two weeks, they answer it. I got your back, Reaper. Sounds and you want to know something? You make this deal with me. Once I prove to you that I got your back, we nip this in the bud, and we say bygones are bygones. Fair enough. All right, bro. Excuse me, sir. I hope you enjoyed the event. I understand, but I want to pass out these flyers. You know, if you found my piggy, there's a reward to be found. See, you like it? <laughs>